Hey, what's up guys? This is Cosmo. So I was lucky enough to buy myself a new Tractor Control S4 Mark II. And so I thought I'd go ahead and do a side-by-side -side comparison of it and the older model, see how it stacks up. Uh, in terms of physical differences between the MK1 and MK2, a lot of the design has actually stayed relatively the same. Obviously the RGB buttons and stuff, but we'll get to that in a second. Uh, same measurement specs here for the S4 MK2 as the older one. So for those of you that own a flight case that you've been carrying around your older S4 in, don't worry about that. The new one will slip in there just fine. As for plug and play, uh, sticking it into the laptop, no real issues there. Um, you just want to make sure that your tractor control software is up to date to 2.6.4 and I had to go ahead and grab the newest firmware update for the S4 which I just grabbed off the Native Instruments website. Took me about like two minutes to go ahead and get that handled. Uh, as we turn on the units here, you'll see right off the bat how visually popping the new S4 unit is. All of the RGB backlit buttons are just a treat to look at, super well lit. A lot easier to see in comparison to the older model so really excited to take it out to the clubs and see what it's going to look like and how much easier it's going to be to navigate myself around the controller in those low light scenarios also you'll notice a couple other new additions the flux button has been added to the top of the tempo faders here as opposed to just the tempo reset that it used to be um, that's obviously relatively handy the filter knobs and browse knob are gray to kind of match this more steel aesthetic going on the jog wheels here um, also of notice for those of you that used to bring up the browser utilizing this little button in the center that's actually changed to the preview button now which is kind of handy because quite frankly I didn't really use preview that much and instead the browser can be brought up by clicking in this browse knob so it's kind of all in one browse function moving here with this knob and then a preview knob if you need to check out and see what track that you're about to load into your next deck. Um, as for the jog wheels, those have been enhanced a little bit. They've stepped away from the braking, or excuse me, the magnetic braking system of the older jog wheel and replaced it with a more heavier and natural feeling jog wheel. Again, with this aluminum casting uh, on top here, just in general, just kind of has a real nice, legit feel to it. A little bit heavier, a little bit more responsive. Really stoked on that overall. Um, otherwise, like, um, what else to really mention, man? Uh, the chroma caps are definitely going to have to get replaced on this newer model. I'm a big fan of those. Um, see myself upgrading to probably a new cast and maybe those orange ones that just came out. Um, I will say when I was popping off knobs here just to kind of see how it looked and how easy that that would be, uh, just those at home, be wary and make sure that you aren't pushing those chroma caps down too hard, wrecking your faders underneath, messing any circuitry up. Uh, this is a little bit of a snug fit. Otherwise, um, just real looking forward to test it out and give it a, a run for its money and see what this thing can do for me. Again, really excited about the responsiveness of the new RGB buttons. Again, they just feel a little bit more comfortable to me, a little more responsive. The faders feel great. The uh, meters, the decibel meters on the faders have been improved and now have a blue and orange color to them. I know it seems minute detail, but again, it's all these little things that are gonna really help to have more information be sent my way with my controller and get to look at my laptop even less. So yeah, really excited, really excited, definitely worth the money, and uh, looking forward to seeing what it does for me. So anyways, yeah, uh, check out my music, and thanks again for watching, guys. Appreciate it.